Christmas presents being delivered to families across the Tennessee Valley coming from the Salvation Army's Angel Tree. And our Caitlin Chastain was there as volunteers handed out all these gifts to many families. Each one of these boxes is full of gifts for more than 4,800 people in need this holiday season. <laughs> Ron Moore is looking forward to delivering presents. These are different kids. There's one, two, three. There's some underneath here. Not to his family, but to people he's never met. He's delivering Christmas to children and adults only identified as angels on the Salvation Army's angel tree. For the past few weeks, people have been buying gifts for those families. This is where we get to give the gifts back to those families. This year, more than 4,800 angels were on the tree. That's 400 more than last year. While not every angel was adopted, many people donated extra gifts to the Salvation Army, making Christmas possible for every person who signed up. The need is great, but generosity is even greater. Toys and clothes were put into the bags for each individual, and each bag was put into a box, and the boxes are for each family. It helps me out a lot because I'm a grandparent and I'm raising two granddaughters. Zaza Tarvin says people opening their hearts means her grandkids will have gifts under the tree this Christmas. I'm just thankful that, you know, that they want to help the children and I appreciate it. Which is why Ron Moore continues to help. He's giving out more than toys. Yeah, thank you, honey. You're welcome. Moore is helping to spread the Christmas spirit. See you later. Take care now. While more than 4,800 people were helped, that's more than 1,500 families in the Chattanooga area getting gifts under the tree thanks to the Salvation Army this holiday season. Reporting in Chattanooga, Caitlin Chastain, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Food boxes are given to each family as well. The Salvation Army still needs volunteers and cash donations this season. They're collecting donations throughout in its Red Kettle fundraiser. And, you know, we personally experienced that the other day at Hamilton Place. We want to thank everybody who donated. That money goes to a good cause. Mm -hmm. Time